Here comes another one, guys. So China just approved the Xbox Activision acquisition. Let's look into this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Another day and another Xbox Activision acquisition approval this time around from China. So this is big news, of course. I mean, China is a huge country, huge market. So it is a big news for sure. Um, a lot of people were expecting some issues from China, but because, you know, states and like Europe are in a bit of a um, kind of a trade war right now. I mean, not war per se, but like trade war. Uh, so yeah, you never know. But looks like China had no issues with that deal going through. Uh, same with Japan. But yeah, Japan is on the right side of the, I guess, of the w trade war, if you know what I mean. But anyway, that's not. It's not about that. Um, yeah, China just approved the deal. This information is a, is a courtesy of SeekingAlpha.com. You will find the link in the description below. Mm, and they say that China's state administration for market regulation, regulation granted unconditional approval for the deal late in a phase three review. According to Deal, uh, deal Reporter item, which cites, cites uh, sources familiar. So this is another um, approval after, um, after European Union. And obviously a number of other countries did approve this deal too, like Brazil, Japan, and uh, uh, Chile, I think, a couple of others too. I mean, generally speaking, it's over 30 countries that approve this deal now, I think. Maybe even more. I mean, e European Union is 30 countries, really. Um, so it's that's even more. So it's closer to 40 countries now. Uh, we are still waiting for clearance from New Zealand and some other two or three countries, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, I mean, everyone is looking at CMA right now and they like scratching their heads and thinking, I mean, what the hell are they thinking, right? What the hell CMA is thinking blocking this bloody deal when ev like the whole world has uh, have no issues with this deal going through. I mean, even European Union, which is pretty strict with these um, deals and stuff, they found a way to, um, you know, approve this deal. They made a deal with Microsoft. Yet CMA is still blocking this deal, and they've got no intention of unblocking it. Um, obviously, Microsoft uh, did appeal, so this process will probably take some some time. FTC is still fl fighting to block. By the way. There was a report today that apparently FTC doesn't really want to even talk with Microsoft about this deal going through because Microsoft did propose some behavioral um, kind of remedies and stuff and FTC doesn't really want to hear anything about it. Like They are like, hold, up, hold off, like, hey, get away from me. We don't want to talk to, with you. We just want to block your deal. I mean, I mean, is that a responsible regulator i mean regulators are there to speak with these companies and find a way to protect them the market sure protect the customers protect the competition but not just block everything left and right because that's not that's not the purpose of these regulators in my opinion L look at the european union right uh, they found the way. Uh, they are happy with all the remedies that Microsoft uh, provided. By the way, they've already, uh, I mean, they've signed a deal with NVIDIA a couple of weeks ago, but they are offering some of their Xbox games on their service already. So that deal that European Commission uh, made with Microsoft is in effect right now. I mean, as of yesterday, I think, right? So it's crazy. Um, you know what? I've I've seen some crazy theories about what may happen with CMA and that kind of stuff. There's a number of people uh, saying that um, CMA may actually change their mind, change their decision, even before the um, that um, appeal uh, kind of uh, take takes its toll. Um, I don't know how if that's even possible. I like I said many times, I'm not a lawyer. I don't really know much about these um, 
laws and anti-competitive laws and everything, right? But um, yeah, it's kind of weird that like it looks like um, because I think that FTC, uh, if it gets to court, uh, because you know they are still waiting for the you know court hearings. When it gets to courts, I don't think, and many lawyers believe that they. I mean, it's not. It's not actually a belief. I mean, looking at the documents and the evidence, it looks like FTC doesn't really have any legs to stand on when it comes to fighting this uh, case in court. So, you know, Microsoft may as well just win that uh, case in court against FTC and, you know, uh, that deal may actually, that acquisition, you know, probably is going to be cleared in US anyway. So if that's the case, it will be only UK blocking this deal really, right? I mean, I have not heard about any other country trying, even trying to block this deal. Um, I mean, obviously, except CMA now, I mean, CMA literally blocked it and obviously FTC is trying to block it. But I think in in, in United States is more complicated than that. Um, you know, courts are very strong there. So if uh, unless courts, uh, you know, kind of makes it makes its case, then, you know, the FTC can't really do anything about it. And like, I think that the evidence is not actually too strong for FTC. So I don't know, like, it's kind of weird. And I know that some people say, oh, so Microsoft will just leave UK. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, I'm not sure if uh, they could carve out the Activision Blizzard King kind of business from UK and leave the rest of the business in UK. But, you know, here's the thing, right? Right, But because, you know, that's gaming. So it's not really that serious, really. But what about other parts of the business? Microsoft is going to be investing a lot of money in AI and other technologies, cloud and everything. And um, I think there's a lot of pressure on CMA. And like these um, UK government officials are actually getting more pissed uh, by the day. Um, I, I even heard just a couple of days ago that, um, you know, Microsoft, I'm not sure if they already signed a deal or they are planning to do it. I think they already signed the deal. They will be opening a new server server center, like um, Azure Center here, here in Poland. It's a it's an investment worth billions of dollars. So you know, like, but yeah, yeah, but Poland is part of European Union, right? So European Union doesn't really block these deals, so there's no problem there. While you know, UK government is trying to bring some new investment and you've got CMA saying, oh, we don't care, we don't care, we protect, we don't know who we protect, but we're just going to block this deal and fuck off, right? I mean, that's their kind of um, attitude right now, which is weird, but we'll see how that goes. So listen, anyway, good news anyway, China approved the deal. Um, I guess this this is just going to be even this will uh, this will put even more pressure on CMA and FTC I guess uh, because now Microsoft can say also oh, you know foreign countries are fine with that deal going through and you want to block American American company I'm talking about FTC so it's going to be a, you know a local kind of deal I mean local it's a global deal but you know what I mean so anyway that's the deal, that's the video, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about it. And um, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.